Hey y'all, Data Guy here. And today I want to talk to you uh, about actually a topic that came up in the comments section, which was the Marquez Open Metadata Service. Um, so basically, you know, Open Lineage by itself is really just a way to track metadata, but doesn't provide implicitly any way to visualize or understand or organize that data. And that is where Marquez comes in. Um, so, you know, as you're building these complex pipelines, you're using lineage to track the trend movement of data between those different uh, pipeline, between the different stages of that pipeline and the you know, life cycle of data sets as they move through data pipelines. That's where Marquez comes in and provides that visualization layer to give you real time lineage tracking, metadata management, and also critically a rich visualization interface. So you can actually look through and visualize the journey of your data through your data pipelines. Um, so that is what we're going to go into today, just the basics of what is Marquez, how does it work, what is the typical architecture used to deploy it, what are some of the key features and advantages and reasons why people would use Marquez, and how does it integrate with popular tools, so you can get an understanding of what it is, how it works, and how you can get start using it with your existing stack today. Um, so if you like these videos, please like, subscribe, consider joining my Patreon, um, but above all else, hope you enjoy them, and let's dive in. So. At its core, um, and also just to give you some history of what you know how Marquez was developed. This was built by the DataKen company um, that no longer exists, and that's just part of the uh, Open Lineage ecosystem and part of the Open Lineage project itself um, to provide that real-time lineage tracking uh, and be this one single source of truth. So being able to store and collect and visualize the Open Lineage metadata as it comes from the many different sources that might make up a modern data pipeline. Um, and so essentially, you want to have you know, hey. It's going to act as your single service for lineage, um, where it's going to capture every change that happens to you know, your lineage through that open lineage standard. Um, and then Marquez will act as a centralized hub for, you know, and uses the metadata collection API through open lineage. And you see Marquez is built on top of it as a lineage repository with a user interface and an API, um, which can now be used to track and visualize the you know any status around jobs that are being run, like a Airflow task or DBT model run, um, data sets. So you know an update to a file in S3 or Snowflake or BigQuery, um, or you know just runs tracking individual executions of a job. Um, and so like you know an Airflow a task instance would be equivalent to a run. Um, and then the lineage and the upstream and downstream relationships between the data sets and the jobs that produce or update them. Um, and so at its core, you know, Marquez is trying to answer the questions like, hey, where did this data come from? What jobs depend on this table? Uh, if I update a schema, what downstream processes will be affected? And what jobs failed last night? And what data did they actually impact? Um, and Marquez operates on a very modular uh, and extensible API, which is just centered around the open lineage specification. Um, and its core components are, you know, you will need to be using the open lineage API for actual metadata collection at, at, at the bottom layer. Um, but then on top of that, you'll add a metadata Marquez repository, um, typically a Postgres SQL based backend that will store all the job run and data set metadata. Um, and then this will be used to populate the lineage graphs within the user interface um, and provide a web UI which has that you know, functional way to look at and interact and trace the flow of data across jobs and data sets. Um, and then you also have a API for interactive and programmatically interacting with this as well. So pushing or pulling data um, from external sources. And so you can see, you know, you have, hey, here's a high level view of my sources across the data dashboard, go over, check current events, page views, look at any current running jobs. Um, I can look and click into the status of an actual job and you can see here's the actual lineage graph where I can see here is a job that then produced a data set. And then if I go to the data set itself, you'll see the run and, and the uh, job that was used um, and the run history every time that was run. Um, and then here, if I go back to the data sets view, I can then view a lineage graph, which will show me all the different jobs that are contributing to updating this data set. So visualizing all those different dependencies. Um, and so you, know, you can keep clicking through here yourself, but really the core here is, you know, hey, you have this really tight integration layer in a single hub where you can plug in Airflow, you can plug in DBT, you could plug Spark, Kubernetes, and have all of that queryable and searchable and organized through this Marquez uh, hub. So now they talked a little bit about Marquez and you know kind of the problem it wants to solve. 
Also, I want to talk about the features and why people want to use it to solve that problem. Because there's a lot of companies out there that want to be, hey, your central hub for all your metadata. Um, and number one is, you know, open lineage compliance and Marquez's open nature in, in general. Um, it is a completely open source project. You don't have to pay anyone to use it. You can set it up and customize it yourself with all the pros and cons that that brings. Um, and it's also a reference implementation for the open lineage specification. And it's making sure, you know, it aligns with that open lineage specification to say, hey, you need to ingest your metadata in a consistent, extensible format that then makes it easy to integrate with all the diverse tools in your data ecosystem. So if you're already using open lineage, Marquez is a natural extension of that. Um, and then not, you know, a big value driver too is the visual lineage graphs. Um, you know, having a real-time interactive DAG uh, that can show the upstream and downstream dependencies of your data sets and jobs is really powerful, um, especially because it lets you, you know, have relationships outside of just a single DAG. You could actually use the Marquez UI and this, what Astronomer Observe does is to chain together multiple DAGs into in using the Marquez lineage to show the relationship between DAGs that can be in completely different airflow environments. So it can be used to you know, string together a really disparate set of services. Um, and this is incredibly valuable you know, when it comes time to debug any breakages in the pipeline or do any kind of impact analysis or audit any of that data flow, you have Marquez that provides that you know, traceability and that source of truth. Um, and then every job run is also tracked with a bunch of rich metadata, like you know, start and end times, uh, state inputs, outputs, namespace, uh, and all of that metadata helps you track and enable observability of all this data over time, and then also enable the in, improve the incident response to any issues that might arise um, in any specific job run. Um, and then something that's you know kind of newer to Marquez, but it's becoming more uh, popular is data set versioning and experimental support for field level lineage. Um, so not only column level lineage, but also understanding how columns propagate through transformations, which is really useful for any kind of GDPR or PII tracking or scheme evolution auditing use case. Um, and then finally, APIs and SDKs. Um, Marquez gives you a really powerful REST API and also a Python SDK to actually make use of open lineage metadata. Um, it makes it easy to query that metadata, build any integrations off of it, export lineage graphs, um, and make use of that metadata outside of just open lineage and populate it to other systems um, because it's designed to be very plug and play. Um, you know, it can interact with Airflow, with DBT, with Spark, with Kubernetes. Uh, you know, with Airflow, it's got its own separate plug special plugin that is automatically capturing uh, metadata from popular operators like Python operator, the BigQuery operator, or the Snowflake operator. Um, you can wrap a DBT run with the Open Lineage CLI wrapper and track lineage from DBT that way. Um, and then Spark and Kubernetes have similar options as well. Um, so some of the biggest use cases that this is driving is a few different ones. So you have number one, Data observability is the biggest one. It gives you a single location to monitor the health and status of your data pipelines and identify any kind of bottlenecks or failed jobs or stale data sets that are, that are arising. Um, also, really good for impact analysis. Um, you know, understanding, hey, if I wanna make a change to a schema and table, I can go in and check this lineage graph and see any up and downstream dependencies that might be impacted by me making that change. And so I can be more considerate about the changes to the schema I might make. Um, and it also helps a lot with compliance and governance. Um, you know, lineage tracking helps make sure that your regulatory requirements you're beholden to are actually met by providing that end-to-end -end traceability of all that sensitive data. Um, and then finally, debugging and root cause analysis. You know, if you're struggling to perform root cause analysis on a lot of different systems that are all manipulating your data, Marquez is a great option because it can string them all together and give you a single source of truth where you just click from there into the actual job or process that failed and try and troubleshoot from there rather than having to kind of go in through all your systems in sequence and figure out what job actually failed. Um, so that's kind of the specific areas I want to talk about. Now, I guess like to sum it up and just, you know, hey, what are the benefits and what are the, some of the limitations and considerations, you know, you might want to think about when adopting Marquez? Um, number one on benefits, you know, it's, it's vendor neutral, it's open source, there's no payment, there's no vendor lock-in, you can take it and run it anywhere. Um, it's got very easy integration with all the tools of the modern data stack, um, and it also has a very extensible data, metadata model via the open lineage uh, basis of Marquez. Um, it also has a very interactive UI for more intuitive lineage navigation, so it's really easy to go through and, you know, searchable for what data set or what job you're trying to look at. Um, and it's also relatively lightweight, so there's not a ton of operational overhead to set this up and use it. Um, and it's also a project with a lot of strong community support uh, under the Linux Foundation because a lot of companies are using it and lineage is only going to become more popular. Um, however, 
there are a few limitations and considerations. You know, field level lineage is still pretty basic and not all integrations support it. In fact, most don't. Um, any kind of custom tools are gonna require building bespoke emitters for open lineage if none doesn't if one doesn't already exist. Um, and it's also not a full-fledged data catalog. It's lineage focused. It's not a replacement for tools like Galatian or Atlin. It's more focused on tracking the flow of data rather than being, you know, your data catalog. Um, and you just need to be mindful of storage size growing over time um, and, and setting responsible metadata retention strategies for them. Um, so that's everything around Marquez. I hope this helped you out, whoever requested it, and I hope everyone has a great rest of their day. Data Guy out.